guys, welcome to episode 25 of the Knit Now Swatch Later podcast. My name is Courtney. Today is Thursday, October 8th, 2020, and this is a knitting podcast where I talk about my knitting, crocheting, and sewing that I have been working on throughout the week. You can find me on Instagram as Knit Now Swatch Later and on Ravelry as Pup. We also have a Ravelry group for this podcast, which you can find link down below along with everywhere else that you can find me and any shops that I talk about during the podcast. All right, so first up, a couple of announcements. Our yarn exchange is still open for signups and the Google form is linked in the description box below. And also our first anniversary celebration is coming up. That will be the next episode of this podcast. I will be announcing that and telling you guys how to enter. I have received the first giveaway prize in the mail. These prizes were donated by Sue and Paula from Stitch and Sisters 2.0. They have a podcast and an Etsy shop, which I will also link to down below. So they sent us this awesome drawstring project bag. You can see their tag, which is super cute. And they also sent a box bag which can be used as a notions pouch or some people use them as sock project bags which is awesome so there's that and then they also sent a really cute set of flower progress keepers and then here is their card the front and then the back with all of their information there. So thank you so much for your donation, ladies. And again, if you are a maker and would like to donate to a giveaway on the podcast, please feel free to reach out to me at my email address, knitnowswatchlater at gmail.com. And I would be happy to talk about your shop or your podcast or whatever you have for me to talk about. <laughs> so I have... This is the only prize that I have received so far, but I have confirmed two other prizes with two other shops, so I will hopefully be getting those soon and can show you guys on the next episode of the podcast. So moving into the actual knitting content of this podcast, I do have one finished object to show you, and that is the Morning Coffee Socks by Kay Litton, who is the Crazy Sock Lady. I knit these on a US size 1 2.25 millimeter needle. Um, I used a 9 inch circular needle from Chow Gu, and then the yarn is from Dizzy Wig Fibers in their colorway The Creek. So these were a super fast, super enjoyable knit. I really liked knitting these, and I'm thinking about knitting a second pair for my husband, which if you know me, I am not one for repeating patterns, so I think that says a lot about this pattern. <laughs> so moving into works in progress in my Nightmare Before Christmas bag from Vintage by Lindy Lou, my Inker's Cardigan, which has gotten a ton of work in the last couple weeks, although it doesn't look like it. But here's my marker from... my marker from the last episode of the podcast is Boogie Boogie and he is from Simply Serving and since the last episode of the podcast I finished the yoke and I split for the sleeves so that's why it's so wonky to show right now but making good progress on that so far and So now it's just at the point where you just knit back and forth for the body, and I am really enjoying that. So, yeah. So next up, in my Zero Project Bag from Fate's Thread, I have a new cast on, which is the Spice Chai Socks by Twin Stitches Designs. And... These I am also knitting on USA's one 2.25 millimeter needles 
And the yarn is Bad Wolf Girl Studios in her Trix Halloween sock set. There is a coordinating mini that came with that, which is super cute. And then she also has, I believe she is dyeing those again this year. So there's also a Treats set, which is um, lighter colors, I think. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out her shop. So I cast these on and I did, I think, 10 repeats for the leg. And then I just finished the heel last night. I did a fish lips kiss heel. And these are coming right along as well. I have learned with the morning coffee socks that I actually really enjoy knitting ribbed pattern socks, which I didn't think I would because I hate doing the ribbing on sweaters. So who'd have thought? But here we are on my second, third pair of rib socks so yeah those have been really fun all right so I need a drink before this next one because it is a tale of woe about my Felix pullover which I'm really sad about this because I don't understand how it happened <laughs> but I was working on my Felix pullover and I flew through the yoke and I went to split for the sleeves and I realized that somehow my stitch marker placement had gotten messed up because when I was splitting for the sleeves the stitch markers were set up so that the sweater went the front of the sweater stitches and then the back of the sweater stitches and then the sleeve stitches were right next to each other. So obviously that was not going to work so I frogged that and I was super frustrated because it was working up so nicely and I really thought that I was going to have the body finished by this episode of the podcast. Obviously that didn't happen. It could have happened if I hadn't royally screwed it up but that happened so here we are. I frogged it and I have not worked on it since. I took it as a sign to just focus on my anchors cardigan for now <laughs> and I have been working pretty steadily on that and my spice chai socks. I think that's it for knitting. I do have a couple of sewing projects but I don't think I'm going to talk about those today um, mostly because none of them are finished but I am working on something new for the shop so stay tuned for that if you are interested. I think, I mean, I'm really excited for it, so <laughs> stay tuned for that if you are interested. Um, so I guess that brings us in to books. Last episode of the podcast, I was reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I didn't have the cover on it, so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that today in case you were interested. That book, like all of Riley Sayers' books that I've read so far, was awesome. It was really good. It held my interest the whole time, and towards the end, it was very fast-paced, and it kept me interested. I read, like, 200 pages in one night. It was really, really good, so I highly, highly recommend that book. And then right now, I am reading the Cursed Anthology which is just an anthology of different um, twisted fairy tales and a couple of original fairy tales by various authors. I of course bought it because Christina Henry is one, she wrote one of the stories in here. Hers is a twist on Snow White which was pretty good although not her best in my opinion. But I am really enjoying that. I'm a little bit more than halfway through so I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, and then transitioning into chat, I did have one question last week in the Ravelry thread, which was from Flamingo Fibers, who is Georgia, and she says, Hi, what sparked your interest in knitting and crocheting, and why do you like it? So I learned how to knit when I was in fifth grade, I think I talked about this on a previous episode of the podcast, but I'm not sure, so I'll go into it again here, 
but um, I was actually, I had finished all of my work early or something, and so my teacher was in the back of the room crocheting, and I think we had we were taking a test or something, I don't know, I just remember it being really quiet. And I went back to the back of the classroom and asked her what she was doing. And so she pulled a chair and or she pulled up a chair for me and then she pulled a hook and some yarn out of her bag and she taught me how to crochet. <laughs> and that was what first sparked my interest for yarn and fiber arts. Um, I went home and I showed my parents and you know, my mom started showing me more things about crochet and eventually I was looking at patterns and everything that I really wanted to make was a knit pattern. So uh, after that I taught myself how to knit and I have just been doing it ever since. And I really enjoy both because I I find that making things for myself and for others is really satisfying and everything that I knit or crochet can be customized to exactly how I want it to be and I think that that is awesome. So um, I hope that answers your question Georgia and as always if you have a question for me feel free to post it in our question thread on the Ravelry group. Alright, so moving into chatter. That In the past week, a lot has happened in the past week, <laughs> for sure. Um, I just got a new bookshelf, which I was super excited about. My husband not so much, because that meant that we would have to put it together and then eventually bring out all of the books. And... We finally, we finished putting it together and we brought out all of the books that did not currently have a home. So I guess that's the best way to phrase it because the books that we put on the shelf first were books that were stacked up on, we had two piles stacked up on either side of our fireplace. We had, and then we had a bookshelf in our living room that had two layers of books on each shelf. And so we took all of those books out of their, you know, inappropriate places and we put them on the bookshelf and it's almost full. I don't even have half a shelf left and I still have two bins of books in the basement and I'm sure plenty more that we haven't even discovered yet. So, oops. <laughs> but we are going to be getting more soon. So I'm really excited about that. Another thing that we did this past week was we went to a cheese making class. We learned how to make mozzarella cheese. It was a demonstration and then at the end of it um, the teacher let us sample some of the cheese and it was really good and we went and we bought the cheese making kit that they had for sale and then this weekend, so that was the previous weekend and then this past weekend my husband and I made cheese ourselves and it was really really good so that was super fun um, uh, let's see I think the only other thing that I have to talk about is shop related so I'm really excited for this week's shop update I am really hoping to have the new project bags in the shop uh, Friday morning when this goes up or sometime between Friday and Saturday. Um, we have been having a lot of things come up recently. Our furnace went out so I am <laughs> wearing a long sleeve shirt and we I have a candle next to me trying to stay warm but the furnace guy is coming out tonight so hopefully hopefully we can get that fixed tonight. But um, just a lot of things have gotten in the way of my sewing this week. We also helped my friend move out yesterday, which was super exciting for her. She has her own place now, and yeah, so very, very busy. But anyway, you don't care about that. You want to hear about the shop stuff. So as you can see, I have both of my sewing machines set up behind me here. It has been a very busy sewing day. Um, 
probably the most most sewing I've done in one day for the shop so far. <laughs> Alright, so here is the new print that I am bringing into the shop this week. It is super cute. This bag obviously isn't finished yet, but <laughs> I thought I would show it. Um, so there's all these threads hanging off. Here is the lining, which I love these bags. I think these are probably my favorite print so far. And then I am experimenting with handles on the large size bag. So this is going to be more like a tote bag. It still has a zipper and it will still have the boxed bottom. So keep an eye out for those in the shop if you are interested. And I also got, I haven't even broken this out of the package yet, but this adorable fall print I fell in love with. Um, I thought it was perfect for if you're wanting to get kind of into the fall zone, but you're not big on Halloween, which is totally fine. I thought that was a really good print for that kind of in between. So I think, so I think that's everything that I have to talk to you guys this time. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I share a new podcast every two weeks. So until next time, happy knitting, guys. Bye.